We're back at the fall off and damn it, is it really not? Ladies and gentlemen, we're speaking on 6 9 Day Hernandez, as Wack 100 said that he'd like to be referred to as now. He no longer wants to be 6 9 He no longer wants to be 6 Trace. He no longer wants to be the Trey Nines. He is Mr. Dale Hernandez. Now, Mr. Hernandez, comma, Dale, was out there amongst his own people, the Hispanics. This is one of the people, this is one of the big things that, that, that was said that was actually even able to, to push his career to be able to even get to this point. Because even though, you know, a lot of not, uh, minority individuals ride by a certain code that he disrespected, right? We all thought, oh, he still got the white people and the Hispanics. At the end of the day, he can still get his bread from the white people and the Hispanics. He can still get the bread from the empanada eaters and the quesadilla cookers. But at the end of the day, we see what happened. He went to a show. I'm not jacking. It was just his show. You know what I'm saying? I think he was, it was probably like a performance, like a little festival joint. Okay? Because him just having it, uh, his own show, I feel like that would have been way more publicized if he went on a tour or something like that. Okay? So people, people were booing. Maybe they didn't expect to see him. We'll do a bang bang. Okay? Nice. But they in Miami. A lot of Hispanics be in Miami. Okay, so he was trying to appeal to the people. He came out. If you think I'm going to play this video and get copyrighted, it's not going to happen. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to describe it to you. So he came out on stage, right? Started playing a song I believe he has with Annuel. And immediately they start booing. Off the rip. Off the rip stick. Off the rip stick, but they wasn't, he wasn't going like this. They wasn't booing and, and, and you know, cheering, booing, cheering. They was booing the whole time, bro. And Six Nine himself was confused. He was like, wait, 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 hold on. You gonna boo off the first song? Like, even him, he was like, wait, wait, hold on. He turned off the music. He was like, yo, I thought y'all was my people, though. Like, real talk. I understand the, the Negroes and the, and the black people and the, and the Oreos and the people that be in the suburbs that they rob by black code, even though they probably never seen a black person. They like, yo, whoa. I understand they don't like me. But y'all don't like me either. Y'all my people. That's what's the ride for me. I be donating to the Dominican Republic. I be outside in the, in the you know what I'm saying, in the, in the Hispanic countries doing what I do, feeding the homeless. Y'all booing me. I'm not gonna lie. That that feel like 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 you go to a show, right? Everybody cheering, but your closest homie in the crowd booing. It's like, damn, bruh. I thought you and me was cool. I thought we was fam them. I thought we was twin nips. But I thought we was twin nips. If anybody, I thought the Hispanics would still rock with Hernandez, regardless, because at the end of the day, that's Mr. Daniel Kama Hernandez. The nine trays. The Trey Nines. At the end of the day, I thought y'all was gonna rock with the Trey Nines, but even the Hispanics ain't rocking with Trey Nine. Even the Hispanics ain't rocking with Trey Nine. What you gonna do now? At the end of the day, what are you gonna do now? Even what's the the Hispanics ain't even rocking with you, buddy. Even the Hispanics ain't rocking with you, my, my boy. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That's crazy. Even the Hispanics ain't rocking with you. Six, nah, I, I used to cop please for you. I'm like, yo, at the end of the day, he still pulls in way more numbers than a lot of these individuals in New York. If he drops, if he dropped the, uh, well, this is how I felt, maybe like three, four, four months ago. If he dropped the song, he would still do way more numbers than a lot of people, okay? So that's why I felt like you couldn't take him out of the conversation of the King of New York type status. Now, at the end of the day, the man is no longer Trey Nines or, or, or Six Trays. He's Daniel Hernandez. This is what I heard from Wack 100, and I haven't heard a statement, I heard a statement from Six Nine uh, denying that, that claim of that statement, okay? I think he wants to live regular life. I think he wants to be outside, be able to live and, and enjoy himself without having to constantly be on camera for being called a snitch, even though it's probably still happening here and there, possibly, but who knows what, what his life is actually like. He's actually pretty low-key now he's actually on the low lows you know last time we saw him he was he was in a restaurant uh, uh taking taking bottles to the head you know what i'm saying like you know he was trying to one up the damn uh assault bay guy he was like yo pour it in my mouth you know what i'm saying Ooh, bang you know what i'm saying it went down the hatch but that's the last time i've seen or heard this man he'd be in miami chilling with his boot thing nice have a good splendid time my boy but at the end of the day the career might be over bro because i kept saying that maybe months ago now you drop a song, you're gonna do a lot of views, but will you even do as much views as say an upcoming drill rapper? I'm not gonna lie. Six nine versus Shy K, who doing more views first day? I'm bringing up the conversation. At the end of the day, you don't be in New York no more. New York loves gritty, grind type of music, violence. That's what you came up on, Mr. Six Nine. Violence. There's a lot of more up and coming violent rappers that New Yorkers can relate to that have not snitched yet. You know what I'm saying? Who knows if they get in that situation, what they're going to do? I'm not them. They're not me. So I, who knows? I, I can't just say somebody going to snitch. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that said that you wouldn't snitch. And guess what you did? You know what I'm saying? Then they're not my damn problem. I don't give a, a, a rat's, a rat's uh, left butt cheek. But at the end of the day, what I need you to understand is I, I, I used to cop please for you. I was like, yo, bro, he still got to number one billboard off the strength of himself. 
But I ain't gonna lie, bro. I thought you was gonna be able to push past it. I thought you was gonna push past all the all, all the energy that people were giving you and whatnot, so forth and such. You ain't pushed past it. You kind of just gave up. And I said, whoa. And then you started making excuses that rappers ain't gangster no more. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Did you see what happened to K Flock? Allegedly. Did you see what happened to K Flock? The person came out of your own city. Yo, well, not your own city, on your own, your own state. You said that rap ain't gangster no more. K Flock looked like he kind of antagonized his man to come out the barbershop. Allegedly, and clipped that man's life, ended it all right then and there on the spot. It did look like it lasted all two minutes. It wasn't no, there wasn't no rough, no ruffle, no tussle. The man walked up on Flock, allegedly, and Flock took this man's whole life sent him to God. You know what I'm saying? So now, what's your excuse? <laughs> what's your excuse? Because rap is probably the most gangster it's been in quite some time. Because you over here talking about dirt not sliding. But everyone else is sliding. People are sliding. I'm not gonna lie. Look at Pooh Shicey. People are sliding. People are sliding. So at the end of the what's your excuse now? It's because you scared. You know the music industry don't jack you. So if you drop, you're gonna flop. 54K with a music industry not jacking you? I don't think that's bad. That's what you showed on your last album. But people think that you you fell off because of that. Because you didn't do like 100,000 copies or something like that. Or maybe the numbers wasn't matching what you get on YouTube. But but damn it. He putting up still. At that time, he was, that's still a great amount of of units to push when the music industry doesn't like you you know what i'm saying when they want to make sure you crumble and die you still do 54k to beat out that's all right but then but then everyone they want you to flop you can do 100k they still say you should have did 150 so either way you was gonna be in the wrong because the music industry don't jack you and you kind of just gave up i thought you was bigger than this bro i thought you was bigger and better than that i didn't know you was gonna give up you was gonna lay down and take it you was laying down and take it Hernandez I know bro the Hernandez I know was on camera putting the 30 pack on Chief Keef that's the Hernandez I know where's that Hernandez now I don't want that Hernandez back I'm not gonna say I'm not, I don't want you to go back to jail I don't give a damn once again but I, I, I prefer you to be in the free world I, I'm sure everyone would like to be in the free world go clap your girlfriend some more you know what I'm saying go, go take more bottles to the face do what you gotta do I don't want you to be in jail but damn it that was a savage 6 9 when the world was 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 on put a foot, foot on his neck he said, oh, I'm going to take that foot and I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to reverse, reverse card. Uno. I'm going to reverse Uno that thing. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the type of life I thought you was living, my, my boy, but, but you're not doing that. What's going on here, bro? What's going on here, bro? Daniel Kama Hernandez, it might be over for you, bro. Most times or not, in these full off episodes, I say, yo, usually it might not be over. Usually the fall off question I ask you guys when I do this show, the fall off, the answer is usually no. Damn it, Mr. Daniel Kama Hernandez, the answer might be no. It might be reps. Get into film. Because music might not be for you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor L. Jazz. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to EBN Music Media. Turn on the post notification bell so you know every time we drop a new video. Definitely make sure you go to subscribe to Taylor L. Jazz Vlogs for more travel vlogs, hotel reviews, and story times. Last but not least, make sure you go ahead and follow Taylor L. Jazz on Instagram for more funny satirical content. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor L. Jazz, and you're watching The Fall Off.